Okay, time for a quick pumpkin project. So what do you need are several of these um, hideously orange pumpkins from the Dollar Tree. I painted mine white with white acrylic paint. Um, it took three coats. Um, I left the, taps in, the tops in place, but I may remove them when I begin assembling my pumpkins. Um, you'll need some Mod Podge also at the Dollar Tree. Uh, and they have tons of ribbon um, at the Dollar Tree. So grab yourself a couple of the ones that you like that um, are festive enough. This plaid right here, I think it's really cute um, and great for fall. Uh, you also need glitter. Now they do have glitter at the Dollar Tree, but I was able to get these actually from uh, Michaels and Walmart. So um, I have some larger gold uh, extra fine gold and then this uh, crystal quartz type um, glitter which I may or may not use we'll see um, and then I also have this decorative bright gold metallic paint that we'll try out and several of these paper plates with my Dollar Tree foam brushes let's get started taking the Mod Podge down just a little bit on some of the sides and of course you want it all over the little top tail piece um, and then some you want it to go further down essentially it's a it's a glue that'll dry clear um, uh, once it's dry it'll be completely clear so I'm just going to uh, decorate the top of my pumpkin with glitter using the Mod Podge. You don't want too serious of clumps on there, but you want to get some good coverage. Okay. I think with this first one, I'm going to start off with the extra fine glitter. Um, I don't really like to use the sprinkly hole, so I'll just take it all off. So we'll start this way and be careful because this stuff literally gets everywhere and it should stick to all of the areas um, that you put the glue. And to get these two sealed in, we're going to take some Mod Podge, place it in the center of our disposable plate, just add a little bit more of our luster just so that we have something to um, mix it in with. We'll mix that up just until it looks like a, <laughs> a glittery paste. Now just don't panic, this will dry clear. Uh, which is what we want um, but we just want to make sure that it it doesn't look clumpy um, when we put it on all right and that looks good enough looks like some oatmeal so we'll take the pumpkin and then we'll start it's it this is like I said it's like a clear coat so um, just be careful that you're not removing too much of the glitter that's already there 
And then what this will do is it will seal the glitter in so that it doesn't come off, you know, because glitter, of course, is messy. Um, so this will act as a top coat for the glitter and it won't go anywhere. Okay, so I have glittered up all of my little pumpkins as you can see. Um, just the top of them because of course I want to just have that contrast kind of ombre look. Um, so they're all pretty shiny and ready for the season. And I've grabbed several of my faux flowers and tweened them or at least shaved them down to just the metal stems. Um, some of these are Dollar Tree ones, um, and they still have metal stems in them, but, um, they were easier to trim down. And then these larger ones are from, uh, Michael's and they had, um, thicker, uh, stems. So I had to trim those quite a bit. Um, and then I also plan to use ribbon. Some of these are from Michael's. This plaid one is from Michael's. So is this, I guess, shuttle, um, I'm sorry, shiny metallic gold. And then this is Dollar Tree. It's like a, I don't know if you could see that color really well, but it's a shimmery white. All right. And so before we get into those, we need to go ahead and fix the flowers. I'm thinking that what would be cute for me may not be cute for you so you have to play around with this but I think this is kind of adorable Um, I don't know it may be too much um, so I was also playing around with this one but then again this darker pink is absolutely gorgeous on these pumpkins here so we'll see and then I have ribbon that'll pull out some of the color so we don't have to worry too much um, so I'm just going to go ahead and settle on that. I'll put this one um, with this guy and I'm going to get my glue gun and just use it as a temporary hold so I don't have to worry about every time I move these things, the little bubbles pop out. So I'm just going to start assembling and shut up. <laughs> you can watch me. 